Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and a big welcome to any new viewers. So if you follow me on social media, which the link is down below, you'll have seen a list of everything needed for today's project. So what we're doing today is a gift for a friend of mine. It's just something I saw and thought would be a really cool idea that I think they're going to love. So we're just going to go ahead and jump in. I'm going to show you everything needed for today's project. Alright y'all, so the first thing you're going to need is this little stemless glass. This is what gave me the idea to make this project. And what we're going to be making is a pumpkin. I got this from Dollar Tree, just to let y'all know. And we're just going to be making a cute little pumpkin that would be an awesome decor piece for anybody. So that is the idea behind this. And this is what gave me idea. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I like the colors on it. So you're going to need that. You're going to need some cardboard and a cutter. And then this was something I decided to do. I'm going to take some green paint and this is Grotto from Folk Art Chalk Paint. So you're going to need that. And then you're going to need the little stem from a pumpkin. So we're going to be using that, we're going to be using some moss, and then you'll need some paint. I mean not paint, I'm sorry, why did I say paint? <sighs> glue. You're going to be needing some glue and a paintbrush, of course. Alright, let's jump into it. Alright y'all, so I want to make a top for this, and I don't want it to be too small, so I'm actually going to take just the size of this and I'm going to go around and it doesn't have to be perfect and I'm going to just make a circle as best I can I just use that as a jumping off part point All right. so there's my circle and now I'm going to cut it best I can. So this is going to be like the lid to this thing and what you're doing is you're making the pumpkin top. So this is not a hard thing to do at all. So let's see if I can do a good job of this. And I'm just cutting around it as best I can to try to make a circle. I don't know how good I'm going to do, but I'm going to do the best I can. And there is my top for my pumpkin. So I want to paint it green, so that's going to be the next step. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my green, which again I said is Grotto from Folk Art, which you can use whatever you want if you don't have that particular color, and I'm going to paint this cardboard that I did, and I'm going to paint it completely because I want it to be completely covered. It'll do what I want it to do. Now this is just an idea I had. You do not have to do this if you don't want to. You can leave it brown. I just thought it would look good painted. And that's why I'm doing it. So 
So I'm going to completely paint it, sides, back, top, and when it's dry, we'll move on to the next step. Alright, now that it's painted and dried, we're going to move on to the next step. And the next step is super easy. We're just going to glue some pieces to it. We want to do some moss. We're just trying to make it look cute. So we're just going to put some moss on it. I think that would be fine. So that is the next step. Alright, so we should be able to do this now. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue on here and try to press it down. how I want the lid to look, the top to look. And I'm not trying to do anything fancy, I just want to give it a wild look to make it look like you could really find something like that. So that's all I'm doing with that. And the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pumpkin top I got and I'm going to glue it on there there is the lid and then seriously all that is left to do for this is I'm going to take and I want to glue this on so that it does not come off. So I'm just going to take Give me a second y'all. I'm just going to put glue around the edge as fast as I can because I don't want it to dry and I'm going to put the lid on it. Now, there is a cute little project I did and I absolutely hope she was going to love it and you never know, I might add a bow or something on it just to give it a little something extra, but I think it came out absolutely adorable, and I love it, and I think she'll like it too. And it is simply just a decorative piece, and you can also always add some lights to it just to make it pop more. So, all right, y'all, so this is an extra. It is literally done. You don't need to add any more to it, but I want to do a little something extra, so I'm going to take these lights and I'm going to feed them into here by making a hole with my wood burner. Let me turn this off. I gotta let that. I gotta let that cool off before I do it, though. So now the next thing I'm going to do now that it's cooled off is I'm just going to feed the lights through here and I just wanted to, I just wanted to have made a big enough hole so that I don't have any problems with the lights. Give me a second. And I'm not really that particular on how the lights go in here. I just want them in there. So it doesn't matter where they where they sit at in here. Okay. 
And then I'm just going to glue the battery pack on here. Wait a second now. And I'm gonna make sure I glue it down on the side that you don't open to take the battery out. Because you don't want to not be able to open it and replace the battery when need be. So, let me show you what it looks like. It's got three different settings. And I think it came out really, really cute. And I'm so happy with it. And I cannot wait to give it to my friend for her birthday. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So y'all, I am done with this project. I absolutely love how it came out. I hope y'all do too. And if y'all like this project, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below because it shows me that y'all are liking what I'm putting out. And it also does help my channel to grow. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.